Until now, I am pretty sure that you might be using JavaScript to create an animated input placeholder like this, where you can type your email like that, and you're gonna see how the email placeholder is moved to the top and it stays there until the input is filled. And if you remove the input, you're gonna see how it's moved back and forth. So this is really an interesting effect that we are going to create without relying on JavaScript. Everything that we are going to do in this video is done purely in CSS. So hey friends, welcome to Smash the Shell. I am Amit Kumar and in this video tutorial, we are going to see how to create an input placeholder text with animation by using pure CSS. So my friends, let's go ahead and see what we have right now to get started with. We have this simple index.html file which has style.css already linked and if you look at the style.css file, it has a very basic body selector and I am applying display flags to it and some height and width to that body selector and I am doing this to kind of center the contents on the viewport both horizontally and vertically and I am also applying a background uh, linear gradient also with font family and font size so that's pretty it and let's look into the index.html file so let's go ahead and create a form element inside that I want to have input element and that input type should be email and id should be email and what I want here is that I also want to have a label for that input so I can say label and that this label has uh, four attribute which should be same as this id attribute of your input element so that we can kind of uh, associate this label to its relevant input so hit enter and you're gonna see that we have created uh, this form and this form has input email with a label so I can say format document and it's gonna kind of format everything hit save now if you look into the browser after giving it a text email which is ultimately going to work as a placeholder for that input and you're gonna see a result something like that now friends let's go ahead and target the input element and set its border to none and border bottom to kind of two pixels solid white also what i want to have here is that a background color which i'm going to set it to unset and now you're going to see that uh, that white color has been removed but we can see there's an outline let's go ahead and get rid of that use outline and set its value to none and you want to see that that outline will be removed so let's give it a font family to same as that we have applied to the body element and you might be asking why i am repeating that here actually the font family that we are using in the body will not work for the input element so that's why i have to give it a uh, here or specify it explicitly and i want to give it a font size of 1 ms which is equal to 1.5 rem ultimately which means it's going to give us the 24 uh, pixel of font size if the browser font size is 16 pixel so this is what we get uh, for the sake of simplicity, I am going to kind of split these two windows and now let's go ahead and specify a color. So color should be white. Now it's time to go ahead and start styling this label to make this a placeholder. So what I can do here is that I can say label and set its position to absolute now we have to specify the context for this label in which we want to position so i want to position it regarding this context uh, which is 
form so i can say uh, position relative because i want to position my label uh, relative to this form element because form is the parent of this label element that's why now set its left value to zero and you're gonna see how it's going to appear on the left now let's set its color to white and hit save great so now we have created the basic input type i want to have a size a little larger for this input so i can say here inside this input uh, main width should be 60 women which is always going to use uh, whatever will be the smallest size either it is height or width so it's going to choose the minimum one so now it's time for the fun part because we are going to animate this placeholder let's go ahead and do that first of all what i want is that when i focus in this input i want this email to slide over to the top so let's do that by using css only so let's say label and when i actually input and when i kind of focus on that input i want to target the label element direct after the input so i can say translate y on the transform to negative one amps and hit save now let's go ahead and focus inside that you're gonna see that how email is kind of translated over that's really fun but if you type here something it's still going to come back and forth like that so we don't want this result we are going to fix this very soon let's go ahead and target the input and this time we're gonna say not placeholder shown means when when the placeholder is not visible and we are talking about the default placeholder attribute this time so that is not visible we want the immediate label element to be translated over to negative one ms and if you hit save and you're gonna see that since the placeholder is not shown here you can't see any default placeholder attribute right there that's why our label has been translated over to negative one ms and that is really good because that's what we wanted but the problem here is that if we still type here something or if i type anything you're gonna see it's never coming back to its original position well this is not we were looking for so let's go ahead and fix this the easiest fix is that move to the index.html file and here just apply a placeholder attribute placeholder and we're gonna give it email placeholder and hit save now you're gonna see there's an overlapping email placeholder this was the manual uh, placeholder that we have created and it is shown in white and the default one is the gray one but hey we don't want to see two placeholders at the same time so how to fix that well it's very simple actually let's go ahead and create here input placeholder and set its color to transparent and hit save and you're gonna see that gray email text has been disappeared from the input now you can just focus on the input and see how that email is moving back and forth type in something here and that's what we are looking for now the problem is that input placeholder is not well supported in all the browsers so instead of giving it an email placeholder and hiding it with another css we can simply go ahead and remove this and inside the placeholder attribute you can simply put a space and hit save 
Now you're gonna see it is still working. So let's go ahead and tweak the email placeholder by just simply scaling it down when it is moved to the top. So I wanna give it a value of 0.8 means we are scaling it down by 20% when it is moved up to the top. and hit save and you wanna see that how it's scaling down but you can see that there is an alignment issue it is moved uh, to the right so we want to fix that alignment so we can simply go to this uh, label and set its transform origin property to 0 0 and hit save and check the input now the alignment issue has been fixed but there is one more problem this time you wanna see that the label or placeholder is kind of jarring not transitioning smoothly so we have to fix this go to the label selector and inside here we have to apply a transition so i can say transition transform 0 0.2 seconds and is in out function now you wanna see how smoothly it is working this is what we wanted so it was very fun very easy to create by using only css we didn't even touch the javascript to kind of listen to the input events like focus and blur so that made it really very simple so my friends if you like the video please go ahead and like the video share your thoughts in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for getting more awesome content like this see you soon stay tuned thank you